Hello, hello, guys. What is up? What is happening? Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome aboard for today's live stream. We got a special one. Halloween style today, as always, though it is hobby. Checking in. Good day to you guys. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And welcome back to the channel. I had an awesome uh, little vacay. I uh, had a wedding last weekend over on the East Coast, so had a wonderful time uh, with the wife and I. So good to be back. Good to be back in the sim with you guys. And we got, uh, pun intended, we got a treat today uh, for Halloween. We got the PMDG Universal Flight Tablet. I think it was released yesterday or Sunday. Um, but nonetheless, super excited to uh, jump into the tablet for today's stream with you guys. See what it's all about. I haven't oh, got, I only got a few minutes to mess around with it. So, um, still new to me. So, we'll see if we can't uh, break her in today. But super excited to uh, be back live with you guys once again here at Microsoft Flight Sim. And uh, we'll, we'll be on the Batsim Network today too. Uh, we are on the ground here in Renton, uh, up in Washington, not too far from Seattle, right next door to Seattle. So uh, we got the Jezueki Design uh, Renton scenery here, pretty much the Boeing uh, themed uh, airport here in Renton, super cool airport. Um, and we're going to head down to uh, K Sun Friedman Memorial Airport. It's a new freeware I've actually been waiting on. Uh, somebody to develop uh, this small GA airport. So I don't even think a 737 would ever fly in there, but uh, you know, we like to spice it up here on the channel. So should be a fun approach. I think it's like literally like one way in, one way out uh, type of uh, smaller airport. So it should be a fun one. Looks like we got some of the crew on board with us. Gray shirt is in the house. Good to see you, Gray shirt. What's going on, my dude? Welcome. Appreciate you hopping in the stream and chat with us. Baker, yes, we are back. Happy spooky day to you as well. Appreciate you hopping in the stream chat. Good to see you again. Psycho's in the house. Woohoo, back again. Yes, we are back alive, finally. Felt like forever since we've been, uh, since we've live streamed. So, super excited to be back. Uh, we got a special livery today. Figured why not spice it up too. We got a uh, good friend of the channel, uh, Mr. Captain Anibis, created this uh fictional bbj livery for the 737 800 so we are biz jetting it up today here uh out of rent so pretty sweet uh tiger livery so we are letting the tiger out of the cage today unintended uh, but yeah we're on the ramp here i guess the pmdg ramp pretty cool with uh the jizeki design uh, Renton Airport here. Got the was that the seven three seven Max. Cool. Uh, so super detailed uh, scenery here. Um, why don't we check it out for a second? Let me actually get the tunes back out. And we'll uh, we'll check out the scenery before we head out because the our route today is only just over an hour. Uh, so it's a shorter leg today, so let's just play some jams while we, uh, if you guys are up for it, um, we'll check out the scenery here because the Boeing factory is back here that was de developed and designed and all that stuff too. So I figured we could check it out real quick. Gray shirt, I'm over on the main area. Okay, I think I see you on the map. Are you on Vatsim? Yeah, I think I see you on Vatsim, uh, gray shirt. I think you're over here, right? Just across from us. So we'll start on this side. Let's check it out. Yeah, because this I picked this written scenery up forever ago, feels like, and this is the first time we've uh, been in or out of. Uh, something's up with the trees. Why do I see the trees through the? Um, but yeah, this is the first time we fired up or live stream from from Renton so super super cool little airport here where some of the 
bowings are birthed. Um, but cool. We'll start off with the got the tower here. Got the ATC animated in it. Good looking tower. Pretty cool. Nice. Yep, that's me, Gracier. Okay, cool. I'm assuming this is you probably here, Gray Shirt. There's Mr. Gray Shirt in the house. And I got all kinds of uh, Boeings getting worked on, getting fired up, all that good stuff. There's a bird. I think that might be live as well. Got runway 16 here. Probably where we'll be taking off. Cool, so let's make a quick round here. Love the, this is pretty cool about the uh, the rent and scenery too. You got the, the bridge you can taxi over to the back here. Hopefully my airplane doesn't like flip over because usually when I take the drone out, uh, the drone breaks the airplane for whatever reason. Cool. Got the lake here. That's sweet. Love that. I gotta stay at this hotel too. I think it's a Hyatt or something. Yeah, Hyatt Regency. Gotta stay there one day. It's on the bucket list. Right next to the, right next to the plant here. Pretty cool. It's got the sounds animated, all that good stuff. There's usually like a fuselage floating around too. I think it's on the other side, but super detailed airport. Oh, here comes one. Rolling in hot. Pretty sweet. Let's jump over on this side. What do we got over here? Some more assembly line here. Pretty awesome scenery here. I know he just dropped Payne Field too, which is supposed to have a lot of the Boeing stuff in it too. <clears throat> Pretty cool, awesome little airport. Crazy design development. Pretty sweet, got the open hangers. Got bird pieces everywhere. Oh, there we go. Thought it was gonna go up on the, on the crane. Cool. <clears throat> Psycho, hope you had a good, have a good flight. Landed in mine about 30 minutes ago. DHL cargo ops from Frankfurt to Heathrow, nice. Tablet is a breath of fresh air, sweet. Yeah, I have not uh, had much time to mess around with it so uh excited to jump in with it with you guys in it today so absolutely exciting long awaited that is for sure so it's pretty cool it's awesome love it nice little scenery if i'm not mistaken i think this scenery is on sale right now too or at least it was got all the boeing buildings everywhere I think there's, yeah, there's a train with the fuselage on it too. Animation is pretty sweet. All the parking lots. And we'll make our way back to the ramp. But yeah, all this was developed. So, tons of detail. I think you can even fire up over here. Um, yeah, I think you can park over here too. got all the maintenance sounds. I think it's supposed to sound, maybe it's supposed to be APU sounds. It's pretty cool how it's animated. Yeah, you can taxi back here too, I think, unless this bridge is broken. Looks kind of broken. It's probably just my PC. Yeah, I don't think you want to taxi over that, but pretty cool nonetheless. Awesome, awesome scenery. Now oh, we missed this side. There's some more. Got some Navy birds, Navy Boeings. Tons of ground clutter. Looks like we got another uh, 
Another tower over here. Got the GA birds. Pretty small ramp. But yeah, it's probably for the GA birds, yeah. Floaters, float planes, ace aviation, cool. So yeah, you can fly your GA birds in and out of here as well. Short runway, especially for a 737, so we'll see how spicy we keep it today. What is that? Aerodyne aviation, cool beans. And then we got another, yeah, we got another tower here. Looks like it, yep fully modeled noise cool beans all right let's head back to the ramp pretty sure I keep keep having uh, I have to keep reauthenticating that regression on the town we should have brought the Phoenix to the Boeing factory <laughs> I, yeah I, I'll probably run into that too I'm assuming I guess we will uh, We'll find out here shortly. That's all I got set up pretty much was my navigraph, so I'm sure I'll probably have to do the have to do the same same deal. Yep, we lost GSX. I figured it was gonna. Yeah, I lost GSX and our <laughs> our uh, chocks. So let's see if we can't uh, get GSX back. Can we get the stairs, please. <clears throat> got our stairs there they come we have our van no we don't have our van either all good all groovy let's jump into it let's get after it shall we uh let's see stop our jams let's go ahead and get into it here's our beautiful light tablet we will get back to you shortly so fs actions chocks we're broken we'll get the maintenance guy out here just because uh i think it got rid of the fuel guy too so we'll bring him back cool let's get after it so we're in the bbj so let's go straight to Battery on, aft one on, and APU. We will start the APU right off the go. Listen to her fire up. Pretty quiet up here in the Seattle area, so I'm sure we probably won't have ATC today. Shout out to Captain Anibis for the custom delivery it is on flight if you guys want to pick it up <clears throat> pretty sweet loving it all right gsx does work i don't remember if i have if i set up the passengers waypoints for boarding i guess we'll find out shortly flight plan is filed we're already on that's him. We're good there. Let's jump in. Get the APU Gen 1, Gen 2 on. Beautiful. And we'll go APU Bleed on so I don't forget it. Let's see. Let's go down to you. Let's go 122.8 for Unicom. We'll get Mode C on for now. Let's go back up top. We'll get the packs on. Hydraulic pumps can go on as well. Logo. Emergency exit lights can go on. We'll go chime. And seatbelts can do auto today. Cool beans. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Let's go IRS's both to a nav. Yeah, let's check our throttles. Uno, dos, to be on the keyboard. That'll reset our, automatically set our altimeter 3015 looking good to go there. Cool. Let me get my tablet going here for the FMC since it, since I don't have any shenanigans with the 737 with my tablet, which is nice. Let's go FS actions. 
fuel, we need, what do we got today? And speaking of that, let's go to our tablet here. Let's request our data. We are written to K Sun. That's good. We'll get our weather up for later. Let's go switch to Navigraph Maps. So far, so good. Gray shirt. Didn't have to reset up my. Navigraph authentication, so dodge the bullet there. Cool. Here's our OFP that loads in as well. Good stuff. So the home page pretty self explanatory. Let's go day and night. Yeah, let's zoom you in as well. Looks like that's the one one thing so far that uh, PMDG's got Phoenix B on is the actual Navigraph maps. Like the, the Navigraph maps are so clutch. I love how you can zoom all the way in, see all the aprons, see all the gates, see all the taxiways um, on Navigraph. Navigraph is just so detailed now. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get that same integration with the actual map of Navigraph on the Phoenix EFB one day, but so far, so good. Um, cool. So, yeah, let's see. Got our weather. That's good. OFP. What's our fuel for today? Fuel is 14.2. So, let's plug you in. 14.2. We'll just quick load you. Make sure she hops in there. Cool. Nothing in the center tanks. I didn't think so. Cool. And we'll come back to the EFB here in a moment. Let's go MCP, airport data, traffic, FPV, terrain on as well. FO side. Excuse me. FO side, we'll go center button twice. Get the BSD up, traffic button once. Don't need the EVFP over here. And let's go back to our FMC. Let's go menu, FMC position in it. Let's go next page, copy our left GPS and paste it. We are KRNT, ref airport, cool beans. And we'll go route. Actually, let's do this. K Sun. We'll go company route and that'll paste all that in there. Sweet. So, and I think we can also <clears throat> Gray shirt, yeah, you can get the charts, etc. But this view is great, especially with the waypoints plotted. Yes, hundred um, percent, absolutely. All right, let's see. So we can now we have the ability to, since it's linked. I saw uh, Bridge to Avageek has a good tutorial on the tablet. I got, I did catch that, some snippets from that, and we can now um, we request. I can't remember if I request the flight plan or just activate it. I think you just activate it and then go next page, and it uplinks uh, since we requested our data from SimBrief, you don't have to do the long drawn out process of finding the file path and putting the flight plan file into you know the right folder before you even start up the sim. Now it's linked. The tablet is linked with the FMC to pull all of your, only pulls the waypoints and the uh, airways. So this is, looks like this is all good. Um, let's actually go back. Let's go to our route. Where's our routing? Double check it. So yeah, we got Teoma, J5, Airway, Sama, J54, Airway, BKE, Direct, Solder, Soldi, and then Direct to Kaysan. So 
We go back down here. That's all in there. So all we have to do is our SIDs and stars. So loving that. So we'll do execute and then we'll go departure arriving button. Um, we did not get a SID. So the winds are, I think, pretty chill here. Yeah, winds are calm. So uh, let's keep it interesting and we'll go... Gray shirt, what are you thinking for a departure? You can do one six to the south, <clears throat> or three four. Kind of worried. It's a short runway, so might take out some trees on the way out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Took the written sit. Okay, we'll do that. Written uh, one six. Yep, written one six uh, for rent. Okay, cool. We will we'll get that on board too. So that is good. We'll execute that, and then we'll go arriving. K Sun. There's only one way in, one way out. Technically, I believe. So let us see with our fancy new tab. We'll go to charts. Let's go departure first. Um, Sid, we'll get you pinned. We'll get the airport info pinned as well. And then arrival. There's no star. We're going to go straight into the approach. Let's see which one we want. There's Soldi. Probably going to make sure we got Soldi on there. X ray or a Yankee. We'll go X-ray. Keep it easy here. So we'll do the Soldi transition. Looks like we're coming kind of 180 back into what is that? 31. Cool. Landing elevation. Touchdown zone is about 5,300 feet. So pretty high up. Cool. All right. Let's go back down here. So we said our nav X-ray, Soldi transition. And we will execute that. Let's go legs page. And let's check our route. Make sure that looks all good. Come down in here a little bit closer. So we also said the Renton. Why is... My flight on my tablet weird. Okay, let's just check this. Departure Sid. Written three. Short and pretty short and sweet. Thousand feet. One eight one thirty heading. Got that. And then we're just gonna go direct to Teoma. From there. Whoops. Move you back. And we'll step through 1,000 feet, then direct Teoma, which is south, right? Yeah, it's pretty much south. Cool, we'll go direct there and keep our steps coming down. Summer, BKE, Soldi transition for the 3 1 approach. That's all in there. And we got our mist. Press and hold 10 5. Cool. Go legs back to map and five on the range. That's all good to go there. Uh, what else we got? How do I do the wind uplink? Winds request. Is that it? Did I hit it? Maybe. I know I pushed it. <clears throat> Am I doing it the wrong way? Legs. How do I crest the winds? Uh, you guys know how to request the winds? I don't remember in this bird. 
perf init request. I think you can do that now, but I'm not going to do that. I thought it was in the legs. Does this not work? All right. Never mind. Forget it. Don't need it. Uh, let's get the PAX SUVs out here. We got the BBJ. We finally got the Cadillacs available for a drop-off, I think. Says they're arriving anyways. Tony, what's going on? Good to see you. All is good. Hope you are well, my dude. Happy Halloween. Yes, right back at you. Appreciate you joining us. Good to be back in the flight deck with you guys. We got new toys, new updates for the PMGG. So super excited to be back. Absolutely. Good to see you, my dude. Uh, cool, we got the SUVs on board, or in the house. So let's go to request boarding. No, crew's on board, already ready to go. And I noticed that GSX automatically updates the payload. So I no longer have to do the quick load GSX does that now for the for the loading, so that is awesome. Let's see our let's double check all of this. Let's go back to our OFP. We got what would we say forty one. Let's go menu payload. We got forty one packs since we're in the BBJ today. Zero fuel weight is one twelve point two. So GSX is off there. So our cargo is two point three, so we'll just update that. What is that? Eleven fifty aside. Okay, I couldn't remember if I had a GSX profile set up for the for rent and it looks like I do. Cool. Let's move you back. See the crew coming out here. Sweet. Cool, cool. Now let's jump back in, fix our numbers. GSX, you are wrong. So let's go 1150 in the forward, 1150 in the aft. 12 point. 112.3, right? That's 112.2. Close enough, I guess. 41 packs. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, now that we have that, we can... What is the button for... Yeah, we'll use this view. Um, let's see... Cost index, what do we got for that today? Since we're on our OFP. We got 2.6. I'm just going to do this from the tablet. And then we'll double check it. Reserves, what do we got? Reserves 5.9, so we'll just call it 6. Zero fuel weight, we said, was 112.3, which is fine. And we are cruising at, what was it, 35, 35,000 feet to a day. And yeah, let's double check that. That's all good. 26, 6 on the reserve, so we'll go away. 350. Execute that, please. In one limit, let's go. <clears throat> Tony, interesting livery. Yes, it is uh, Halloween edition. Halloween edition, and our good friend of the channel, Captain Anubis, uh, made this custom livery. It's on uh, flightsim.t. I figure it's Halloween. Let's spice it up. Well, why not? Letting the tiger out of the cage today. So we'll check out the livery 
uh, when we get up to cruise and our both of our sceneries for today as well. All right, let's go to what do we need? The performance tool or calculator, whatever you want to call it. Runway, let's see, import from OFP. Okay, I think that's already done. So we're doing 1 6. Runway heading, oh cool, it pulls runway heading, nice. Conditions are dry, 5,300 feet on the runway. Uh, import from the aircraft. We want our actual numbers, not the OFP. Takeoff flaps, probably going to be five anyway, so we'll just set that. Um, probably going to need full takeoff, so we'll, we'll watch that. Import the weather. Winds are pretty calm, so that's good. Uh, packs on, anti-ice off, right? It's not cold here, is it? Uh, plus 11. Should be fine. Oh, uh, really? And we'll calculate it, see what it gives us. Cell temp, 35. So let's get that in here. 35. We are not going to derate because we got a short, short runway. I'm going to derate these either. We'll just leave that. We need all the power we can get today. So that looks good. Take off. We'll go flaps. Did it give us five? Yeah, flaps five. Boom, boom, boom. Our V speeds are in here. Take off weight. Our N1. This is 97.6. So let's make sure that 97.5. It's close enough. We'll go flaps five. CG. 23.1. Trim is four. Uh, call it four and a half. So let's set you roughly four and a half. That looks good to go there. Um, what else do we got? Let's actually get our speed in here. 139 V2. Set you. So I don't forget that. Coop. Trim is set. Let's go back to our cruise speeds. We've got a cruise on the red line like we always do. Mach 81 for our cruise speed. Descent we will do. I don't know why GSX keep beeping. It's so annoying. 300 knots on the descent. 250 under 10,000 feet. And it will calculate our top of drop. All that good stuff. <clears throat> Gray shirt, did you get the Easter egg livery from PMDG? No, I did not see that one. Where's that at? I have not heard of that one. Why is my flight on my tablet? 367 miles to top of drop from where we are now. Okay, uh, what else do we got? Let's go up top. Some other stuff to do. Let's go yaw damper. Window heat's on. Three, four. Rest of our fuel pumps can go on for startup. I uh, don't need any center tanks today. We do need the RTO. Reset the fuel flow. That is good to go. And what do we say our runway heading is 159. So get that set turn you and then we're going 130 heading right 159 is there a top altitude on the SID I don't think so oh I think I was on the star or the SID top altitudes 3000 there's no ATC on right now so we're just going to go up to cruise for now. Let's go back to our MCP. We say 35. Three, five, oh, cool. And we need to set our pressurization panel as well. 35. 35,000 feet and... What was our 
Oh, we got our pinned charts here, too. Cool. Love that. <clears throat> Wait to the mainstream in the tab at long press on the PMG. You'll get a QR code. Don't show that on stream. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll do that after after stream, uh, gray shirt. I'll have to check that out. Uh, let's see. What was our touchdown zone? 50, we'll call it 5,300 feet. Wrong button. Touchdown zone 5,300. 53. That's good to go. I think we're ready to roll out of here. Cool. Let's go FS actions, ground services. Move the chocks. Let's roll. Time to roll. Ground crew, you can peace. Let's go doors. Close. GSX is stuck on stupid, so we're just going to restart you. Get rid of you. Let's go beacon on. We'll get the camera set up here. Cool guys getting out of the way. Whoa, hello, Mr. Tiger. <clears throat> Brownies in the house. Hey, what's going on, Brownies? Happy Halloween back at you. Appreciate you jumping in the stream with us on this fine Halloween afternoon, evening. Tony, <laughs> yes, GSX. GSX is always stuck on stupid. I don't know why. Especially with the BBJ, it just, like, always asks me to open the cargo doors. I'm like, I don't have any baggage loaders. I don't use baggage loaders for the, for the BBJ. Like, so, why it keeps asking me to open the cargo doors. I do not get it. Cool, let's get the packs off. Those both got to go off for startup. Let's go right igniter. We'll set number two to ground. And we'll get our spooling. Let's go you, menu, FMC, progress. And you on legs, please. Cool. All the pressure is rising. N2 is rising. Let's go 25 on N2. Let's go number two, intro the fuel. Let's listen to our fuel up. And yeah, suck the cones into the engines. Let's not do that. Brownie digging the, the uh, tiger livery. Appreciate it, brownies. It's a sharp one. Roar. We are roaring today. Cool. We got one good engine. Startup sequence is done. That's good. So let's go number one. Same deal. Let's roll it. <clears throat> Bum, 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 bum. N2 alive, oil pressure alive, N1 rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. N2 25%. Let's go fuel in for number one. Spool it. Two good engines. <clears throat> Let's reset our camera if we can. And we'll get the flight deck cam. Hopefully I haven't moved it all around. Looks like it's in a good spot where it should be. Cool. Uh, let's go in Gen 1, Gen 2. 
APU can go off. Start switches, continuous one and two. Uh, let's see. Probe heats can go on, packs back on, ISO valve, auto. Boom. Packs back to auto too, yes. APU bleed can go off. Let's go flaps five, rolling out. Let's go engine system button. So checks up, down, left, right, right rudder, left rudder. My chair is way too close. Cool. Controls are checked. Let's go T A R A on now. And reset you. Let's go flight directors. Coming on, auto throttle. Armed terrain is on, that's good. Uh, we'll go VNAV. And can we go LNAV? The SID? We should be able to, yes. Cool. Alright, gray shirt, are you. Did you already roll out? No, I think that's you here. We will. Uh, you'll probably beat us to the runway. We're gonna taxi. Let's go home, because I like this map much better. Let's go zoom you in. Whoa, wait. Unlock you. So we cannot taxi down Bravo, because it's way too small for a huge bird. So we're going to have to go Bravo, Bravo 6, and cross 3, 4. Uh, and then we'll go Alpha all the way down. I guess, or we could back taxi. We'll do that. Let's lock our position. Cool. Loving that map for sure. Uh, let's get you off, system off. And let's roll it. Lights, camera action, parking brake. Let's go. Spooler up. And we're rolling. Later, PMDG crew. And we're in traffic. Uh, November 5, Jude Alpha taxiing to 1 6 uh, via Bravo, Bravo 6, crossing 3 4 Alpha, rent trap. Let's go, let's go. Looks like the stream cam is covering the tablet, so we'll just have to <laughs> deal with that for now. Yeah, it's just us and Gracier out here, so we should be fine. Nobody on final. I think if anybody's out here, it's at Seattle, down the way. Let's go strobes on as we cross. Gracier, no, waiting on you. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Hopefully we won't clip your tail or your wing on our way by. Because it is... Uh, not a very big airport here in Renton. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's go strobes off. Get the scenic route here. Let's see how we're looking outside. Not much room here. <laughs> we should be good. Yeah, I don't know how much this uh, this map follow feature has on my frame, so maybe we'll unlock that. Get all the way down Alpha, 1-6, out of here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's nice the tablets are independent, but I think you have to have both or neither. I don't think you can only have one. There's Gray Shirt. He's rolling with us today. 
and we are taxiing them very slow. Let's get out of here. Looks like we're going to take off with the wind a little bit. Winds are pretty calm, so not too much wind. Cool, let's do it. Let's go to K Sun. There we go. The baby Boeings. Getting their final preps done. Got ton, tons of GA. Tons of GA hang, uh, hangers. Birds out here too, so lots of GA flying here. Renton. Let's do it. And uh, float planes too, so. Reset our camera. I don't think there's anybody. There's only a couple birds on the ground at Seattle, so we're good. Let's go lights, wing lights, landing lights, strobes, rent traffic, uh, November 5 drop off. Taking off 1 6 to the south, uh, rent traffic. Cool, let's go. We're gonna go. We need to cut across here and use every ounce of runway as we're teetering off into the water. Whoops. Didn't see a bump there. But we survived it. Cool. Let's go center line ish. And start the clock. I don't know what is up with our airplane. Are we in a hole? <laughs> Why do we keep bouncing? All right, let's hold the brakes. We'll spool them up to 40. And we will use all the toga on this short runway. There's 40 toga. Set our power is set. Brakes, we're rolling. Off the hole. Airspeed alive. Checks. Double check, we'll go neutral. Try not to take out any trees. Let's go rotate. Nice and easy. Positive rate of climb. Gears over the trees. Double tap. Tip them up. Left turn. Nice and easy. So smooth. Straighten her out. The nose down. And we're in traffic, Boeing 500 off uh, climbing through 3000 for 350, last call. Right? Cool. So nose down, speed checks, speed flaps one. And speed checks are good, flaps up and clean. We are on our vector, so let's go direct to Tayoma. Execute. And we'll go Command A. Got us. Gear lever can go off. RTO can go off as well. Let's go. Wing views out of Seattle. Renton. Camera out of the way. Where's Seattle? SeaTac Airport's right here. Our airport's right there. Super close. Pacific Northwest. One of my favorite areas in the sim to fly for sure. Gavin Gaming, hello, what's going on, my friend? Appreciate you hopping in and streaming chat with us. Happy Halloween to you. 
Good to have you on board with us. Welcome. Out of the Seattle Renton area. Let's go left side. What do we? The mountains over here. Nice. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll stay on the right side for a bit. So long, Seattle. <clears throat> Leveling off already. 10,000 feet, that was quick. Let's see. Map. It's cool, we got Google Maps too, which is pretty interesting. It's awesome. Where are we at? We're going direct to. What was it? Tayoma? Oh, that's really small. Tayoma, yes. Cool. We got Seattle, BFI, Boeing Field, Payne Field's way up here. Rent. That's where we took off from. Cool beans. Good looking tablet. Yeah, we got night night mode if we want it. Day. I like the world map view. So you got IFR high, IFR low, VFR options for those as well. Gray shirt watch zooming on Google Maps causes CTDs. Okay. I will uh I'm just going to stay away from Google Map then. I much prefer the uh, the uh, Navigraph, actual Navigraph maps, the world map view. Hands down my fave for sure. Whoops. So it's got all our fixes on here. Summa, direct summa, then we should be Wanta. Oh, it's got our top of climb in here too. Cool. Coda. BKE. Baker City. And our top of drops in there too. Cool beans. That's awesome. And it's got our bird, our pink bird tracking us. Cool. So let's go. Arrival. Our SID was pretty, uh, SID was pretty sort, short and sweet. Where is it? Okay, departure, pinned, SID, there we go. Yeah, departure, super, super short and sweet today. Let's go search, arrival, pinned, we got approach, pretty much all, we don't have a star today, so. All we need is our uh, Arnav X-Ray 3-1 approach for today. Settings, don't really need much in here. Cool. Uh, let me get back to chat here. Let's go standard. Any other checks? Yes, we need the lights off. Forgot all this. Landing lights, wing lights, taxi lights, start switches off. Good to go there. Terrain radar, probably fine. We can get that off too. 20,000 feet already. Cool beans. And uh, let me get back to chat. Again, thank you guys for hanging out in the uh, stream and chat today on this beautiful Halloween a live stream. <clears throat> Tony, did you see the Phoenix picks that they teased us with that thing is going to be sweet when they finally get it ready for release. Pretty sure those Phoenix screenshots are amazing. Yes. No, I haven't. Uh, 
I will pull that up. Is it on... Assuming it's on their Discord. I think where they usually post their... Uh, post their updates and whatnot. Weren't we supposed to get the... Uh, the next update by end of uh, end of October this month. Discord. Okay, cool. Let me pull that up. Let me get my map here set up on my second monitor. <clears throat> Let's go Discord. Great sure I think FS Elite has them as also. Okay. I'll just pull. I got their Discord here. I'll just pull that bad boy up. Alrighty, here they are. Is that Mount Rainier behind us? Or off to our left? Probably. Looks like it. Let's see. Block 2 isn't here. Whirlwind. Uh, not going to meet our October guidance as hoped. All good. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Brief overview. Uh, a couple of shots from update. Alright, looking up the from the ground. Let's just go through the screenshots first. So these this must be a part of the 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 coming update with all of like the details and whatnot then, right? Looks like more exterior details upgraded. Look at the smear marks. Looks like everything is like being refined. Looks like the landing gear as well. Wow, that's super detailed. All the grease and stuff all over it. Nice. Textures. That looks mad crispy. Looks really good. That is looking good. Let's see. This is leading edge engine what's this uh, really hides the new more accurate nose section model cool it's like the nose got some more some more detail to it and the wing uh, windows outside some more details cool yeah, they're delayed on that. Um, on that again. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, I'd rather them rather them get it right than rush it. It be broken when we get it, or not all the way completed. But hopefully, we get it November by the end of November. That'd be nice. Well, it doesn't look like you mentioned. Uh, any other time frame so cool yeah I can't wait to see the uh, the interior updates as well I know there's gonna be some interior updates can't wait for that but looking at all the exterior updates looks pretty pretty good Great sure nothing worse than a buggy release. Exactly. Yep, I would rather them just take longer, get it right, than uh, everything breaking. Let's see, we're at 30,000 feet. We got 5,000 to go. Let's get some range on you. Direct Coda now. On course, climb speed. Look at that beautiful tablet. Looks awfully dark. Cool. <clears throat> nice. Then we I guess we also have the 
FO side. I could use this too. Uh, let's go charts. Now we'll just keep it on the uh, keep it on the maps here. Oh yeah, you gotta unlock it. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go date. Yeah, and then we'll jump into the uh, what is it? The performance tool again on um, arrival for arrival here in a little bit. But yeah, my my favorite. Uh, Favorite piece about the tablet's got to be the the actual Navigraph chart or maps, I should say. I'm a huge fan of the world map view for for Navigraph. They put so much more detail and everything into it. Like if we go back to like Seattle, where's Seattle? They got all the got all the uh, taxiways marked. You got the concourses marked. All the jet, uh, all the jetways, all the numbers so detailed on like the bigger, bigger areas. Got the cargo, Alaska cargo. We were just there not too long ago. All the spot numbers so. Super awesome! We get the uh, the actual Navigraph maps. Absolutely love the Navigraph. How much detail they've put into their world map and all that. So beautiful stuff. Are we at cruise already. We are. Let's get some jams going. Come on. Get on. Shuffle. 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 Boom, 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 boom. And let's go outside and check out our livery. Let's get you up. And we'll get the shades up. It's pretty sunny on the right side. Got to check out our Halloween edition. Probably going to be noisy. Let me move the camera back here. Shout out to our good friend of the channel, Captain Anibus, with the custom fictional tiger livery. I figured it's Halloween. Let's spice it up. Pretty cool looking. Shout out to our homie. Crushing the liveries. Got all the mountains out here. Cool. <clears throat> Let me get back to chat too. Um uh, pretty sure they gave up on time frames after missing two of them and the Discord venting their intestines about them <laughs> yeah I would just that's probably why uh, PMDG does not give us any <laughs> get, doesn't really give us timelines better just to uh, keep it vague Pegasus what's going on my dude greetings good to see you happy Halloween appreciate you swinging by Great to have you on board with us, my good friend. Hope all is well. Yes, sir. Tony, so all that extra space is supposed to be for third-party devs to add apps. Yes, I think I did hear that. That's that's pretty awesome. I think they just have to go through... Those third-party devs just have to go through like a vetting process with PMDG. PMDG, yeah. And... Uh, 
yeah, once if they get approved, then yeah, they can uh, develop third-party apps for the uh, for the airplane. So that will be very cool to see who and what uh, gets developed uh, for those those third-party uh, apps for the for the flight tablet. Yes, sir. Yes, so the yeah, all this extra space is for the uh, for more apps. <sighs> Tony is super smart. Yeah, it really is. It'll uh, take the all the some of the developing out of uh, PMDG's hands and uh, let some uh, third-party devs put in the work. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we get some cool stuff out of it. I, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to see what, who creates what for it. Trying to think what else we would, what else we need for the tablet. Um, obviously, like the ability to use the, change the settings. Like the, um. Was the menu the all the actual aircraft settings? That'd be cool to be able to change it from the tablet. I think that's coming. But other than that, I'm super curious what uh, what else we'll get. What other apps will get developed? Um, so yeah, if you guys are you guys got to make sure uh, for the tablet you go into the equipment um, tab here. So PMG setup aircraft. Equipment. Previous page it is on page 16. Flight tablet. Click yes. Uh, it's automatically set to no. And then, in order to make sure your, if you want your flight tablet in there every time, you don't have, so you don't have to keep coming back into the equipment settings. Uh, make sure you save it under your fixed config. So turn it on. Turn it on and then go back, save it under your fixed configs, and you should be good to go. So you don't have to keep turning it on or off or keeping it in the flight deck with you. Let's bug our heading. We got 106. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go wing view and we'll check out our sceneries, livery. Let's do our livery first. The Apex Tiger by our good friend of the channel, Mr. Captain Anibis. So it's a BBJ-2 fictional livery by our good friend of the channel. Bringing the tiger out of the cage today. Pretty sharp. He's got a ton of liveries. Oh shoot, I forgot about the uh, interior too. <laughs> let's do that. Uh, let's see, where is my... Can we go through the wall here? I think we can. Ah, there it is. Yes. Let's make sure we start from the top. Oh wow, you changed the curtain too. Everything's tigered up. Love that. This is just the forward galley. Didn't know you can change the curtain. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I changed all the seating and tables to match the black and black and orange look. Plate, coffee cup. Pretty cool. Nice. So we got some interior details with it too. The longer conference table in the back and then the outside good looking livery the tiger front on the front that's awesome cool uh, let's see then we got Orbix this is where uh, I believe I picked up Renton I think it was on sale 
should probably still be. Where is it? Where is it? Renton, where are you? There it is. K R N T. Yes, it is on sale if you guys want to pick it up. We checked it out before we took off today. We'll go through some screenshot screenshots. Tony, have you checked out the Horizon uh, 789 yet? No. I uh, I think I'm going to stick with the 788. That's just kind of more my size, my cup of tea. But uh, still super exciting that... Uh, we got all of them now, pretty much, right? We got the, we got the eight uh, is the Kuro mod, the nine is the Horizon mod, and then we got the I guess the working title is the ten uh, from the AU two updates, AU one and two. Um, but no, I have I'm a little behind on everything right now uh was gone for almost a week so i'm just getting caught up on everything but i know it had dropped but i have not checked it out yet i'll have to check out some other other guys streaming it see how they're liking it have you have you flown it yet tony what are your thoughts on it there's some screenshots that we checked out we checked it out earlier with the drone cam but some of the Boeing factory on the Renton airfield. Pretty sweet. Bum, 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 bum. Tons of detail with this rather small GA airport. It's a football field right next door. Forgot about that. There's the Boeing factory. There's a aerial shot of it. Only 5,300 feet runway, so pretty small runway. But uh, small but mighty scenery here. Figured we'd fire off here today since we got the new tablet. New Boeing style. There's that Hyatt right next to the factory. It's pretty sweet right on the lake too all the views back there night lighting solid of course too all the ramps and parking spots really good detail on the that hotel too that Hyatt tons of detail sweet Nice, I didn't see where this was. Cool. There's the tower, another shot of the tower. Great sure new fly wire stable version with all the VNAV stuff, etc. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Got the float planes in there. More shots in the terminal. You got the Max engines sitting out there. So cool. Another aerial shot. Short runway. Tons of screenshots. 43 screenshots. Love that. Cool. That is our payware. And then we got a freeware. Um, for K Sun Friedman Memorial, which has already gotten a couple updates, I think. So I've been waiting on this scenery. Fun, small GA airport. I think there's only maybe a couple airlines that go in here. I believe it's like CRJs and Embraer's. So we're going to cut it close with the 738 going in here. We got Atlantic, that's where we'll be parking. 
I think there's another FBO and then a very small terminal. And then tons of uh, GA parking. Night lighting. Aerial shots. I think this is the terminal here, terminal parking. There's only three spots. Looks like he did some of the surrounding buildings, the airport. Got the tower, nice. Got a floating man here, cool. And that's all the screenshots. So, been waiting for this airport, it's pretty cool. Shout out to DVL Creations. Looks like you got some dependencies here, I think I already downloaded them, so. Make sure you download those if you want to pick it up. So a fun GA airport down in the valley, Haley, Idaho. So cool, cool airport for sure. <clears throat> so we'll be threading the needle, flying the old 738 BBJ-2 in there. Now let's check out the rest of this cabin that Mr. Captain Ambus detailed for us. Nice, got the tiger print on the lav throughout the cabin here, pretty sweet. Got the long table. Let me check our top of drop. Wow, we're already 150 to the top of drop. We, yeah, I changed all the chairs. Love that. <laughs> Love the detail. So cool. Good, good, good stuff. Perfect for a Halloween flight and stream. Absolutely. Got the galley carts on uh, <laughs> even... Tiger printed those, love it. The back galley here. I don't think we can go all the way back here, it's usually broken, but. Cool, cool stuff. Love it, love it, love it. We'll walk back through the cabin. Tony Greaser, I read about that a little while ago, gotta check it out. Yeah, I'm, uh,. I'm definitely behind. Got to get caught up on everything this week. All the new updates and what's been released and what's coming. So good, good stuff. Sweet. Tiger print everywhere. I love it. Black and orange. Noise. Yeah, and then we'll be back Thursday for our second leg, <clears throat> our second stream of the week. Uh, I believe that's 3 p.m. We'll be going live at 3. We're going to go uh, K Sun down to LAX. Because uh, I did finally pick up the, let's go on the flight deck here. I did finally pick up the INI builds LAX, so we need to check that bad boy out. That we do. <clears throat> let's check out our delivery one more time, if we can. Move all of our mountains. Way back there. And if you guys are just joining us and enjoying the stream, definitely smash the like button on your way in or out. We're always, always appreciated. Thank you, thank you everyone for swinging by today, hanging out with us on Halloween. Yes, sir. in the apex today. Windy, cloudy up here at 35,000 feet.
Cool. Oh, and I did I did finally download that uh, the um, oh, that's a good shot of the nose cone. The uh, what was it? The better drone camera views. So we got some better fixed cameras here, along with the cockpit camera defaults. It's on Flight Sim TO. Well, that camera looks broken. Other than that, just, I think it's all good. Yeah, got some better wing views than the defaults. Nice. Hello, Mr. Tiger. Better default views than the Microsoft ones. We'll go with one of the wing views. We'll go with this one for now. Or one of our own. Cool, we got about a hundred and ten to the top of drop. Looks like they didn't fix the white box thing. The white outlining. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it's supposed to be fixed in the last update. And I noticed it in the Phoenix too, so still broke <clears throat> but all good cool we are on course Mach 8-1 got our range leave it on 40 top of drops 104 out so let's start planning here uh, where are we at there we are Get you off. Yeah, so we're gonna come in, do a 180. We're gonna go right by Boise. Cool. Didn't realize it was that close to Boise. Okay, son. Cool. Yeah. Other than that, the tablet's kind of short and sweet. You got your. Where's our screen? Your sim brief integration, also with the OFP. Got your OFP page, charts, navigraph, gotta have those. Um, and then, yeah, our performance tool. So it's kind of short and sweet. Let's go landing dispatch, import from EF OFP. That's already in there, anyways. Uh, we got runway 31, it's pretty much one way in, one way out. Uh, landing flaps 30 packs on anti ice off should be right because temperature is six but I'm assuming the weather's fine actually let's go back just double check it arrival yeah visibility is pretty clear so Temperature six, so we'll watch for any icing or anything, but it should be probably fine. It's probably still pretty clear. It's called performance tool, so we got it's nice the sim brief integration already picks up most of this. Um, no, that's takeoff. But yeah, pretty self explanatory. Elevation fifty three hundred, yeah, for th runway three one. Tony, I think I read that it's by design something to do with Xbox views, I think, maybe. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Good to know. Cool. Yeah, it's no no biggie on the views. We got plenty of good views. Uh, so, weather, 3032 on the altimeter. Winds are 130 at 8, so... Gonna be landing probably with the wind. So let's calculate you. Landing distance 7,500. Quick turn weight. VREF 154. VREF ice 154. Weight. It's all good. Cool. That's all fine and dandy. So let's go down to our init ref. 
We're going to do flaps 30. We'll be fine doing flaps 30 today. Oh, Tony. Yeah, the white box thing. Gotcha. Something to do with the Xbox views, I think. Gotcha. All good. It's not as... At least it, like, disappears after a few seconds. If it just stayed there, like, for, for forever, that would be probably way more annoying, but being that it disappears, no biggie at all. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Cool, so we'll do flaps 30. It's like VREF 136. What did this give us? 154. Why is it so off? That's 30. Yeah, that's like... I don't know why... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. All good. We'll go with what the airplane tells us. So flaps 30, we got that. Let's go. Final course is charts. Final course is tree 20. Let's get that set in here. Both sides. Beautiful. Uh, our minimums are. We'll do L nav 69.20. So we're gonna have to hold this for forever. Barrels are synced. Both sides. That set up. Bum, bum, bum. Ryland, hello, good to see you, Ryland. What's going on, my dude? Hope all is well. Appreciate you hopping in the stream and chat with us. Happy Halloween, my friend. Good to see you. Great to have you on board with us. Maybe weights are throwing it off. Uh, yeah, I don't. That's weird. I just go with what the airplane tells me. We haven't even had the performance calculator thing, anyways, for the last <laughs> however long. <clears throat> so I, I don't even know if I'll honestly use it for landing anyways other than maybe just pulling the pulling the weather and the METAR um, but yeah the the airplane knows our our landing speed so it is a cool it is a cool to have though at least uh, what's our heading? Let's sink you. 110. What did it say? 69. What was it? 6920. 6920. Both sides. Tony facts. <laughs> yeah. We've, we've survived this long without the tablet or performance tool. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. We shall be all right. <clears throat> I more so just love the the Navigraph maps integrated fully with the tablet. All the wonderful detail that Navigraph has put into their like world map view. That is my biggest or most favorite thing about the Navigraph charts. Continue to add tons of detail. We say 6920. Let's go back. Boom. 6920 both sides in and rolling. Let's go legs. Let's copy our runway fix. We'll go fix page. Paste you. We'll go 15 on the range. Rings or approach rings. I like to call them so we know when and where to configure. That's groovy there. Cruise, we got 38 till top drop. Both sides, awesome. 
Uh, can we do the wins? Where do I, why do I forget the wins? Where do we do the wins at? Why do I always forget this? Forecast. There it is. Wins. Let's go to the LFP. Uh, let's go to the wins here. Descent. So we'll go 20,000, 15,000, and 10,000. And actually, I got the tablet going, so let's do this the easy way. 2,000 or 200, 150, 100. Boom. Winds are 270 at 26, or 271 at 26. 284 at 23. 24 at 23, and 10,000 feet, 246 and 7. Boom. That is all good. 200, 150, and we will execute those for TOD. Cool. <clears throat> sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, let's set our bottom altitude of we're doing the RNAV so 5289 we'll set it to 5300 set you to 53 we're already on VNAV VNAV will take us down nicely cool there she goes Good stuff. <clears throat> Tony, request will pull right from your OFP. Ah, I forgot about that. Yes. Is it um, just right here? Descent wins request. And it'll uplink it. I'm assuming. I totally forget that now. Yeah, now that we have the... The tablet makes the, gives us the uplink feature for like our, um, our route for the airways and waypoints. Let's see if it changes. Yes, sir. Cool. Let's do it. Descent winds request. Let's see if it changes it for us. Probably more accurate. When uplink ready, load. Four for more. Yeah, it did change it. So they're all execute. And that was our top of drop, no? Oh, maybe we're just spooling down for the top of drop. Mach 80. I don't know. I guess so. Cool. Awesome. Appreciate it, Tony. I... Whoa. Camera. Yeah, it's one thing I gotta keep remembering about the, the tablet now is the uplink, uplink stuff. So, good, good, good stuff. Where are those mountains at? Our mountain views. We're gonna be pretty close with the sun going down. We're on live time, so. Hopefully, we'll at least touch down before it's dark so we can see the, uh, see the airport on our arrival. Let's get, uh, pull up flight recorder. There's our spool down. TOD. Got 70 miles to the runway. Yes, TOD coming in. Coop. Coop, coop, coop. 
Aviation Geek, what's going on, my dude? Happy Halloween, brother. Good to see you. Appreciate you hopping in with us on Halloween. Big up to ya. It is going well. We got the tablet on board finally for PMDG. Hope you are enjoying it as well. <clears throat> Uh, great to see you, my friend. Good to have you on board with us. Tony, I think if you throw in q and H and I say in there, you'll get more accurate TOD and descent info. Really? Interesting. Did not know that. Cool. I feel like I learned something new with the 7.3 every day. Let's get the uh, q and H in there, shall we? Uh, what did we say it was... Oh, that's cool. Simple and uh, thirty thirty-two. Let's see. Let's get it pre-selected. Thirty. Actually, let's do this. It's gonna jump. Go two ninety-nine or two. Switch it off, and we'll turn it slow. Thirty. 32. Get us down. Boom, ba -boom, boom. Reset you. Cool. Hydra, what's going on, my dude? Good to see you. Happy Halloween. Thanks for hopping in and streaming chat with us. First leg, yes, only leg today. Yes, sir. We'll be back uh, Thursday for our second leg. Uh, we're heading to Haley, Idaho, Friedman Memorial today, and then Thursday we will fly out of Friedman Memorial, head down to beautiful LAX in the BBJ, <clears throat> the mountains to the beach on Thursday, so that'll be a fun one. Good to see you. Hope all is well, Hydra. Happy Halloween, my dude. Great sure is a great route. Love flying over the mountains. Yes. Pacific Northwest to the Idaho mountains. Just doesn't disappoint. We've got some mountains here. Oh, yeah. Did we pass Boise yet? Ah, we did. Just past Boise. Cool. Let's get our chart up here. Let's go wide on you. Cool. Bum, bum. Hydra, bad day. It will get better, my friend. Hope all gets better, my brother. We are just chilling out. Sending you all the good vibes. <sighs> if she hope you butter it. We will see. I uh, feel like the 7... 738 always gets away from me, <laughs> but we'll see. Appreciate it, my dude. Let's go night. The day chart is just super bright. Why don't we? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Altimeter is set. I say and Q and H in the scent forecast area. Is it in here? Where is it? Uh, you put oh you put Q and H in here. Got it. Uh, what did we say it was? Thirty thirty two. Oh, do I need to put the backslash? 
30, 32, execute. Got it, appreciate it, Tony. Thank you, brother. Cool, cool, we will stay up here, up front on the approach. And we'll pause the jams. We'll get you guys back in the flight deck with this. I'm gonna cover up the tablet, unfortunately, but all's good. So we're direct soul D. Soul D here. And we're just making a slow 180 back to Z approach. Maybe we'll use the HUD today. I feel like I don't use the HUD all that much. Let's watch our speeds. Altimeter set, we got where's flight recorder. Don't want to forget you, my friend. Thank you. Put you over here. Auto brakes will go auto brake one. I like to use more manual brakes. Terrain radar gets you on. Let's see, and our airport. Oops. It's pretty much off to our left now. Uh Back here somewhere in these mountains. In one of these valleys it is. Cool. Nope, oh, now we're going too slow. He brakes armed. Cute. Yeah, Freeman traffic, Boeing 5 to Alpha on the RNAV X ray 3 1, sending through 15,000 for RNAV X ray 3 1. Freeman traffic. <coughs> Coop. Let's go lights on. Start switches continuous 1 and 2. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Icing conditions or anything out here, so we should be we should be good. No anti-ice needed. Cool. Let's do it. And we're just gonna go VNAV in. So we'll set runway heading, which is what is it? Three twelve. So we know the difference between. Final course in that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. See how we do on this landing. Yeah, I feel like the 700 just feels more smooth on uh, approach and landing. The uh, 800 gets kind of gets away from me sometimes. But let's do it. K Sun, we in the house. Pretty sure it's weird hearing you on Vatsim and then two minutes later on stream. Really? Is it that delayed? Do you have the stream on live? Because I know sometimes, at least for me, the stream. Uh, the like live function will be weird and I'll be like oh it's not even on live it's like it's I need to hit the live button again sometimes I don't know if that might be it or not yeah so our airport oh there we are we're on the map now we're on this approach plate so Junal's at about ten and a half out is here, so we need to start configuring pretty quick here. Oops, reset you. Drag required. Why? Alright, we'll use some speed brake. And we're about on the left base. 
pretty mountains out here. That is so cool. We need, what do we need? 187 and Junal? Junal? Cool. Taking us a minute to slow down here. We be right at sunset, too. Nice. Timed it perfect. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go flaps one. Hope we'll slow down a bit here. And Freeman traffic, 5 to an alpha, turning left base, runway 3 1, Freeman traffic. Slower down. Our airports. Where is she? She's back down here somewhere. Hiding out here in the, the mountains. Reset you. Show sure, our left turn here. That's yes, right back here. So we arm our speed brakes. Let's go. Flaps five. Coming out. Let's check you out. Turn you on night mode too. Since it's so bright. Is it not working? There she goes. Cool. 10 out. <clears throat> Pretty sure, yeah, it may not be two minute delay, about a minute and a half. Yeah, that is weird. Super delayed. All good. There is our runway. Right here. So looks like we'll have to shimmy a little around the uh, around the mountain. Not a straight in landing. But let's go gear. Flaps 15. Coming out. Let's see if our HUD, how our HUD work looks. Let's use the HUD. Why not? Got it. Might as well use it. Cool. Speed looking good. We are coming in right at sunset. Cool. Beans. Let's go. Flaps 30. hard to see but there's our runway here let's record a little early I'm gonna bring our throttles back to try to match in one let's go our bird approaching minimums and let's go our throttles minimums we are landing Watch our speed. V ref plus five is uh, I'll call it one forty. And Freeman traffic uh, Boeing five to off uh, short final three one three. Oh, no, I guess we're one thirty six. Not 140. 1, terrain, terrain. Pull up. Probably should have turned terrain, off the <laughs> jip whiz. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. 
Oh, shut it. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. There's our runway. Saying we're too low, but can't trust the pappies anymore. Watch our speed. Coming in hot. I feel like we're too high. Happies are way off. Let's get her in here. Oh, probably gonna cook the brakes today. Oh, we're floating. Oh, it's because we're not flaps 30. Flaps. Twenty. Ten. We were flaps forty. <laughs> Come on, Bravo Throttle Quadrant. And we're down. Roll it out, hit the brakes. Manual brakes. Sixty knots, we can stow them. We'll roll it out. Yeah, that happens a lot. I should have checked that. We should have been flaps 30. Sometimes the, uh, for whatever reason. Maybe I did have it on flaps 40. Pilot error. What do you know? Alright. Stop the clock. Hour and four minutes. I think we beat our time by six. And... I'll take that landing despite landing flaps 40. I wonder why we were floating so hard. And Freeman traffic, Boeing 5 drop a clear 3 1. Freeman. Turn, baby, turn. Colts go lights. Landing lights, wing lights can go off. Strobes, start switches off. Boom. Left. Not too shabby. <clears throat> I'm interested to see if I did have it in flaps 40. <laughs> Sometimes my throttle quadrant, I'll put it in flaps 30 and the sim will still go flaps 40. So, got to make sure I double check that. Cool. We are taxiing all the way down to Atlantic. Let's see. What was our parking? I think it's ramp 3 walk-in. Yes. Follow me? No. Cool. Handling by Atlantic. Beautiful. Here's one of the SBO, FBOs. The Bowski FBO. Cool. And I think the terminal is here. Yes, got the Alaska Embraer there, nice. Oh, let's put the flaps up. <laughs> Speed brakes can go up too. Clean it up. And we can go probes off. Cool. Great shirt's right behind us. Let's see if we can't, uh, we'll slow our taxi down so we can catch his touchdown. Right behind us. See his lights. There he is. And we gotta go all the way down. Last ramp on the field. Cool, cool, cool. Hydra butter, yes. Appreciate it, Hydra. Just trying for it. Despite uh, <laughs> switching flap settings at 50 feet. <clears throat> hey, we should get awesome landing. That was buttery smooth. Appreciate it, my dude. Uh, hopefully you don't hit this pole. Skirt! Oh, we went through it. Just ignore that. Take out some taxi lights. All good. Uh, what else to get? Did I miss? Hydra, nice. 180 to 200 is your... What you're calling for. We will check the landing rate here shortly. Shoot, are we going to miss the uh, Miss Gray shirt? Got to hurry up our taxi here. <clears throat> Tony, a good landing is one where you don't have collapsed landing gear. Famous words of a Ryanair pilot. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Or if you're 
like like me in changing the flap setting at the uh, last second. <laughs> I have I have a feeling I had it in flaps forty, but I guess we'll find out. Really, fire truck. Here comes gray shirt. See how he does. There's our marshaller. We got to do 180 on the ramp. We'll go slow. Make sure we can get get a good shot of it. Yeah, it's an off off centered approach. So you got to manually fly it. It's a tricky one. We'll go down here on the ramp. Let's go lights off. Let's reset our camera here. Let's see how he does. Got it, gray shirt. Actually, let's just go outside as we're parking. There he goes. Nice. Plenty of runway. Just cook the brakes if you need to. That looked like butter. That looked like butter to me. Well done, sir. Let's get in here. We gotta go around this CJ. I'm gonna go all the way up to next to the uh, hangar here. Try not to clip this CJ. Tight parking spot. Good. Turn, 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 turn. Let's not hit the hangar. Turn it, turn it. There she goes. Scoot up here. We're turning. Come on. Way off here. Let's pump the brakes. And skirt. Ooh, right on the money. Let's go. Parking brake is set. Let's stop recording. We will finish the flight. Mark this as stream. Okay, dokey. And let's check it out before we shut her down. Boom. That's my first, uh, I want to say that's my first zero. <laughs> zero, zero parking. Perfect parking. Let's reset you. View landing report. What do we get? Minus 364. Whoa. All good. I'll take it right after the markers. That was probably because we were switching landing flaps as we were touching the runway. So <laughs> I'll take that all day, all good. Cool. Let's close you out. Quit. Hydra, no way. That's a 364. Yeah, I don't know. That seemed seemed pretty off too, if I say so myself. Cool. Let's get the overlay out of the way as well. see gray shirts rolling in or maybe he parked different ramp uh, we are gonna leave the bird running uh, let's do this let's go flaps 30 hopefully that works on um, the speed brakes we'll get all the lights on strobes see if that even works for a replay we'll see Cool, it's getting dark too. Uh, let's go. Uh, let me make sure I got everything here. 
Yeah, recording I did stop. That's good. Cool. Let's go replay. Um, I should probably disconnect from VATSIM. Replay. Go. And we'll go wing view as the sun is setting and play the jams yeah I think uh, I think we got robbed on that one Hydra all oh, good Tony don't they do the dance on zero yes they do but uh, I feel like sometimes even if I don't get it perfect it's just like a couple points off they'll do it too um, but I think he was waiting for for us to shut down the engines to do the to do the dance. You gotta you gotta cut the engines, but we're gonna run replays first before we before we cut the engines and then uh, get GSX to deboard us. But yeah, I I feel like it's fifty fifty sometimes too, Tony, because I've got it really close and it's done the dance and then. I've gotten this another very close uh, parking and it didn't do the dance so it is uh, it's a toss-up unless it's perfect probably probably guaranteed then gray shirt minus 226 on your sweet <clears throat> nowhere near the mark on mine though yeah I mean we still had Runway was 7,500 feet, so even if you float it, I mean, especially coming in lighter with like the BBJ, you can still land touchdown middle of the runway and still have plenty of time to slow down. Obviously, that's not real world, of course. You'd probably go around, but yeah, the BBJ can pretty much stop on a dime because you're a lot lighter. Can we bounce there a little bit, maybe. All good. Nice. Bum, bum. I had a ton of overshot and yeah, light. Yep. Wasn't gonna go around that one, yeah. 7,500 feet's plenty, even if you float it. Yeah, great shirt. What Tony said, from our from our point of view, looked smooth. Looked like butter from us. Anything you can walk from is a good landing. <laughs> Hydra, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, let's go. Pause. Reverse. Oh, flight recorder is having some bugs uh, let's go where's our window view yeah let's go from the exec view here on the wings ba -da 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 -bum. pretty sure it didn't burn out the brakes either nice there you go yeah plenty of runway plenty I was thinking the sh the the runway was like six thousand or less feet, but seventy five hundred is plenty. Hydra better than braking your brakes and landing, yes. Saved the brakes today. No no maintenance bill coming at us. Dodge the bullet there. I wonder if it actually simulated me changing the putting the flaps forty to thirty. I knew something felt off on that landing. I'm curious. 
Let's go with one of these. Let's go with this view next. Wait, does it not have the like window window view? No. Come on. I guess not. We'll we'll go with this one. Pause. Reverse. Very curious to see. Or actually, let's see what it says up front. It says we're flaps 30 here, so. Let's see what re replay does. I de definitely remember looking at the flaps gauge and it was flaps 40, and I'm like, uh. That's not what we picked. Runway was not short enough for laps 40. Cool. So, yeah, we'll be back Thursday. Uh, we'll be firing off out of here. Friedman, K-Sun, Haley, Idaho. AD Haley, Idaho. Oh, tongue twister. Uh, we'll be heading to uh, beautiful LAX. I uh, finally picked up the I and I builds LAX scenery, so we'll be flying some more. Uh, another BizJet uh, flight on Thursday, the 800 BBJ2. From here, Kason to LAX, so from the mountains to the beach, so should be a nice route. On Thursday, I believe we're going live at three as per normal. Let's see if the flaps changed here. Nope. I think it's because I already set them. All good. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan for Thursday. Sun is setting here in Idaho too. Time to perfect today. Any later would have been pitch black. Had just enough light to land. Pretty sure I used the seven. For three version uh, of RNAV final approach for today. Nice. Cool. Glad that worked out, my dude. Good, good stuff. Cool. So let's do, we'll do two more. Let's go this view. I'm going to lock you. Get some mountain views before it is dark. And then we will. Uh, Set you. We'll do this view and then we'll do our flyover and take it back to the ramp. It's been a while since we got a night landing. This is more night and replay than actual our actual approach. We are. No wonder Jip Wiz was hollering terrain. We're hugging the mountains here in Haley, Idaho. But yeah, this is a uh, new freeware on flightsim.to. If you guys missed our screenshots from our livery and our sceneries we flew to and from today at cruise, definitely uh, watch it back. Uh, but yeah, I've been waiting on K Sun. This GA airport, it's like one way in, one way out. Definitely a fun airport. We finally got it in the sim. Let's see how this 360 went. Oh, yeah, there's a little, little bouncy poo in there. Nice. Hydra, how much is the plane? Uh, I believe it's sixty. Was it sixty nine ninety nine? It's. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's on the PMDG website. I believe it's just PMDG, PMDG dot com. Uh, and I believe the eight hundred is. I think sixty nine ninety nine, or sixty four ninety nine, sixty five or seventy bucks, something like that. Too much for a plane, but you get three variants. You get uh, 
it's kind of like getting more than just one plane. Uh, you get the commercial, the BBJ, and the cargo bird, so it's a package deal. Uh, let's rewind it all the way back a little bit. Uh, that's too close. Give me a little more time, my dude. <clears throat> that's more than Microsoft. Yeah, I think I paid for the premium. It was for Microsoft, I think it's 120 or something like that. So yeah, I mean, overall this hobby, hobby just ain't cheap, unfortunately. <clears throat> but it is a fun airplane nonetheless. Make sure the speed brakes are down. Cool. We'll run this last one. But I do I do think it's worth it. Especially if you're a big Boeing person. But to each his own. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna do a flyover, not this camera. No. I gotta miss it. Tiger on the loose. That was kind of a late flare there too. Christian, if you don't want the extra variance or care about real world routes, the PMDG 600 is like 40 bucks. Same fidelity as the 800. Oh yeah, I forgot the the 600 is cheaper. Way cheaper. I totally forgot about that. Good point, uh, Gracer. Appreciate it. Man, look at those mountains. That is dope. Oh, cool. We got the Atlantic aviation sign. We need a, definitely need a BizJet uh, VATSIM event out here. Like, stat. Tony, 3499 for the 600. Even better. Even cheaper. There you go, Hydra. 35 bucks for the 600. There you go. Cool, cool. All right, let's do uh, GSX. Get you guys set up for us again. No, that should set them up right here. Cool. Let's jump back in the bird. Get her buttoned up, and we need to get the APU started as well. Yes. Landing lights off. What else is not used to? Let's go steady. Wing light still on. Yeah, those could go off. Let's get the wheel well lights on. Those are cool. I dig those. Cool. Uh, what else? Ch -ch -ch -ch. APU spooling. Yes. Night. I forgot the night lighting in this bird. Looking good. Okay, sure. Out of here. See you Thursday. Sounds good, my dude. Appreciate you flying along with us. Great to have you en route with us. I'm glad you enjoyed this one. It was a definitely a fun route for sure. Have a great rest of your Halloween. And we'll catch you in the next one, my friend. Those are off. What else needs to come off? Uh, we can just get the uh, damper window heats off now. Probes are already off. APU gins, let's get those on one and two. And with the APU bleed on. Boom. Oh. Let's clean her up. There's the terminal right here. There's the flaps coming in. Cool. Thought I was forgetting something. Cool. Tony, the 900's 49 bucks? Is it really? I guess that makes sense. The 7 and 800 have all three variants. The 900. Uh, is the 900 only the commercial? I can't remember. I know there's not a BBJ3. Um, 
I can't remember if there's a a cargo variant for the 900. <clears throat> we'll let uh, oh, let's speed this up actually because we had a long long taxi. And lights are all over the place. <laughs> Let's go in here. What are we doing? Let's get you all off. Zoom. Boom, boom. Beast is out. Bum, bum, bum. Awesome scenery. Great location. The airport. And the valley out here in Idaho. We'll let GSX deboard us. We will sign out as we are unloading. One camera. <laughs> She's just saying, cut the engines. Should do it. Skirt. There she goes. Parking brake is set. Let's go. Engine two and one. Off. And let's get our chocks. Get the maintenance guy out here. Beacon can go off. GSX, let's deboard. Four for four. Cool. Cool, cool. Bum, bum, bum. Good night lighting on the uh, freeway scenery, too. Here at the FBO. Looking good. Looking good. Tony, fun fact: the PMG company is from Vegas. I, uh, that's. I think I knew that. I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, I feel like I heard that a, a while ago. Uh, yeah. Super cool fun fact. Yeah. I'll have to see where they are, how far they are, technically from my, <laughs> from my place. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Cool, cool. That is going to wrap us up for today as the sun is pretty much completely set here in Haley. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. We got the tablet finally after waiting, I don't know, felt like ages for it. Uh, it is live in the bird finally so i hope you guys are enjoying it uh i have still some more toying around to do with it um as i get to learning more and more about it so but uh but yeah nonetheless thank you guys for hanging out in the stream and chat with us stopping by today hope everybody has a great rest of your evening and halloween tonight stay safe everyone um shout you guys out of course before we head out Brownies, thanks for the flight. See you next time. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Brownies, for flying with us today. Great to have you on board. Have an awesome Halloween, Brownies. Tony, appreciate you, my friend. Uh, thanks for the fun stream. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you as well, my dude. It was a pleasure. Thanks for hopping in and hanging out with us on this nice Halloween evening before, uh, before the Halloween festivities begin. 
Gray Shirt was in the house and flew along with us. Appreciate you, Gray Shirt. Thanks so much for flying along with us, my friend. Hydra was in the house. Good to see you, Hydra. Hope all is well. Thanks for hopping on board and hanging out in the stream and chat with us today. Uh, let's see. Make sure I don't forget anything. Aviation Geek was in the house as well. Appreciate you, Aviation Geek. Great to see you. Great to have you on board with us. Happy Halloween, my friend. Ryland was in the house as well. Good to see you, Ryland. Hope all is well. Appreciate you swinging by. Have a wonderful Halloween as well. Pegasus was in the house as well. Good to see you, Pegasus. Appreciate you, my friend. Happy Halloween. Right back to you. Uh, let's see who else. Gavin Gaming stopped by as well. Appreciate you, Gavin, for hanging out and streaming and chat with us. Happy Halloween to you, my friend. Good to see you. Great to have you on board. Uh, let's see. Make sure I don't forget anybody. Let's go back. Psycho was in the house. Yes. Bre tablet is a breath of fresh air, my friend. Absolutely. We finally got her. Uh, appreciate you hopping in. Good to see you, Psycho. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Baker was in the house as well. Good to see you, Baker. Hope all is well. Happy spooky day as well. Uh, sure. That is going to wrap us up. Again, we will be back Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific for our next leg. We'll be going from here, Haley, Idaho, down to beautiful LAX. Uh, so from the beach, or from the mountain to the beach on Thursday. So swing by if you can hope to see you guys there and on board with us uh and again if you guys did enjoy today's stream want to show your support to the channel please do smash the like and subscribe buttons would greatly greatly appreciate that and we do go live every single week here on this on the channel uh so don't forget to hit the notification bell and again thank you everyone for your continued support here on the channel it does mean the world to me and uh yeah every week is a blast flying with you guys live here on the channel so looking forward to many many more streams ahead of us and lastly i've listed some of my favorite playlists of our past streams if you guys want to check them out in the video description below you can check out some of the other airplanes routes sceneries liveries all that good stuff that we have uh, flown here and microsoft flights and they are listed down in the video description below again thank you guys everyone have a wonderful safe happy halloween this evening and we will catch you guys back here on thursday until then i am out later guys see ya